Welcome to Arm Animation. I'm Arman. I'm currently animating this scene in Spine. We have a futuristic screen on the building that has circular plates rotating with different speed and directions. Nothing complex here. Each piece is placed inside a bone that is located at the center. Here. In this video, I want to introduce this sequence. and animate it only over the circular plates. But how? They are moving. What is the best way to do that? More on that later in this video. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform that offers thousands of classes taught by the industry experts. Whether you are interested in animation, drawing, or even business, Skillshare has a course that will spark your curiosity and help you grow. Personally, I've been a member of Skillshare for some time now, and it has been an invaluable resource for expanding my Photoshop skills. I basically learned everything about Adobe Premiere by watching this course on Skillshare. What's great about Skillshare is that it's designed for all skill levels, from beginners to advanced learners. The classes are broken down into small lessons, making it easy to fit learning into your busy schedule. I think of it as a platform to watch something on when I feel productive. What I love about Skillshare the most is that there are very few distractions compared to YouTube, where you can easily find yourself watching unrelated video after a few clicks. Skillshare also provides a diverse range of high quality classes that help improve your soft skills. Currently, I plan to watch productivity and time management course to make more time for the things that matter to me the most. Perhaps I can also excel at public speaking by watching this course. The videos on my channel can be not only educational, but also entertaining and fun. Let me know in the comments what skills you would like to improve. Now, here is the exciting part. The first thousand people to use the link will get a month free trial of Skillshare. Back to the effect. Remember, we want to animate the sequence only over moving parts. There is a very easy technique for that. It's hard to understand at first, but once you make it yourself, you will see how simple it is. Let's do it step by step. First, let's do it for just one image. Then, we will apply it as a sequence. I'll drag the background image to the viewport. Duplicate the slot. and name one top and the other bottom. Next, I will change the blending mode of the top slot to additive and set the color of the bottom slot to black. You can see that once I do it, the blending effect is cancelled. Simply put, the pixels of the top attachment remain unchanged as long as they have black pixels showing under them. If we put something between two slots that is different than black, we will see it rendering brighter. The last thing we need to do is cut out our sequence frame by frame using Photoshop. Let me show you. Here, each frame is filled with background. Make sure that the background does not move during the sequence. Do you know how to repaint your sequence in Photoshop with your background? Don't worry, I'll show you. Open background in Photoshop, drag the sequence to the same document, put them in a group, and align them wherever you need them to be. Make sure background is sitting over the group folder. Hold Alt key and click in the middle of the two rows. This will create a clipping mask, making sure that whatever is inside the group will be filled with background pixels. That's it. When we export this using Photoshop to Spine script, it will apply that mask as expected, and we will have our filled sequence. Now let's get back to Spine and add the effect. I will drag the first image of the sequence into the viewport. Convert it to Sequence Attachment. Rename it so I can add Start and End indexes. 
change to animate mode and animate in the loop. Adjust the FPS so I have a seamless loop. Duplicate the slot and call them top and bottom. I'll change the blending of the top to additive and the color of the bottom to black. And lastly, I'll make sure the circle plates are in between those slots. Thank you for watching and special thanks to our supporters and patrons.